That's of course gonna be what the epic Gabriel, the one and only, actually gonna be going up against Goblin uh, in winners round two of top 64. Um, bit of an interesting, uh, you know, matchup between the two. They have a lot of history between one another. These are two players who have just fought each other countless times. Oh my gosh. I mean, on what, in game or out is the real question about that. But regardless of that, yeah. Gonna catch the roll in. And Epic Gabriel, certainly one of the more notable names throughout the Wi Fi, uh, throughout the Wi Fi era. I believe that they've won the most, uh, box tournaments out of anyone, if I'm not mistaken or at least that was the case maybe my uh maybe my information is out of date nevertheless oh goblin God. gonna make sure that they put their name on this particular trophy we're in top 32 goblin saying hey buddy you gotta make sure that you bring your a game against me well that's i be killed so early sometimes you just like think about that and you're like does does that really deserve to kill that early but then it always does epic game i love the non-committal up tilt there because even if they whiffed it um, they were still able to cover the landing back onto the stage. Beautiful gyro into up smash, but not going to be able to take the stock quite yet. Setting up the ledge trap again, but not actually connecting it. Oh, Epic Game is maybe going to go grab that one because that is Goblin with center stage. And they're just piling on this damage and getting all of this extra credit. And yeah, they are all about maximizing their value. Goblin sitting there at full rage you're gonna get the burial but goes for down smash instead an interesting option selection but it winds up being inconsequential as epic gabriel will take that stock anyway and now they're gonna have to get on the war path towards a comeback goblin gets caught trying to pop him with the hilt but is going to eat a whole bunch of damage instead and now taking the gyro epic gabriel trying to trap him between that uh that rock and the hard place but that's uh, Rob in a hard place, perhaps. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll work that out. However, Goblin keeping him at ledge, and I would have to think that their uh, their interactions on flat ground is going is going to be what wins Goblin this game. Goblin's ledge trapping right now is so solid, just keeping Epic Game out there for so long. Able to get a weak hit up here to up tilt. That's a new one for me. I haven't actually seen that one before. Up tilt up here. Excellent DI on Goblin's behalf. Gotta say, Epic Game has just been struggling to close out some of these stocks, whereas Goblin, ah, oh, not able to get the kill confirmed that time either. Really good DI on these jabs from Epic Game, just able to get out. Epic Game getting grabbed. And just the pummel from Goblin. I was expecting the up smash, to be completely honest, but that's uh, Goblin not going to choose that one prompt. Maybe trying to lull him to a false sense of security, but for Epic Gabriel, it's a very real one. They're up two stocks to one, and yeah. They've evened things back out as uh, as well as you possibly could have. If you're Epic Gabriel, you're feeling pretty good about how this is going so far, especially when you whip on an upbeat like Goblin just did. Oh, Epic Gabe just controlling the stage so well. A little bit too late to punish the unlike of that move. Able to get another up tilt up here. Uh, gotta say, Goblin just needs anything. They just have to breathe on Epic Game to be able to get the stock out. Dash attack into grab is not going to confirm quite yet. Um, I believe that move did a little bit too much knockback and just sent Goblin too far away. Up throw, yes. <laughs> At 200%, then yes. Yeah, you already know, man. This dude is just absolutely nutty. And well, you're talking about dudes like... Uh... I mean, just Rob's in general, for some reason, have been, uh, well, I mean, I think we know Ooh, the reason. This could be it. Oh, have been so dominant in this game. Thus far, that's going to be a couple of jet boosters to the face of Goblin that are going to take this. And Epic Gabriel really turning on the Jets for that game number one, the second half of it. Goes to show just how, uh, how effective someone like Epic Gabriel can be. Last tournament they won wound up being a uh, Bankai Sleaze Fest. They have not mm -hmm. entered a whole lot since then after beating Sansko and BR1AV going undefeated throughout that whole tournament. But yeah, the list of uh the list of victims that they have accumulated is just it's as long you might as well just put the entire WWR on there because mm -hmm. Epic Gabriel's taken a game from one of them. At least at some point, they are the person with the target on their back. And Goblin, it's a weird position to have them in. Maybe they're the one with something to prove here. 
That game one started in such a way that was really in Goblin's favor. They seemed to have a lot of momentum and, and he was just like controlling the stage so well. I really like some of the adaptations that Gabe made, but of course these have just been going out of for so long, so we will just probably be seeing a back and forth uh, between these two until the end of time. Goblin getting a really good neutral though, not overextending, just able to get the weak hit forward, just for a little bit of extra damage. So, oh my god, up throwing Gyro into Jab, that was, that was nice. That was a nice little custom combo that was just like, uh, you know, in the, in the moment. I mean, when you have the confidence in spades like they do, you can do just about anything. Goblin and Epic Gabriel going at it again on Pokemon Stadium 2. Goblin getting caught on the platform. Epic Gabriel, I mean, the situational awareness to read and react to where Goblin is. I mean, Goblin really is kind of behind the eight ball here, Ooh. and there's not a whole lot you can do when you get buried into the up smash, granted, but I mean, this is these are positions that Epic Gabriel is kind of forcing oh them gosh. into, and those nares are not going to relent just because Goblin can't keep up right now. I know, I have to say, the way that Gabe is making them, himself so ambiguous with the cross-ups with Nair, despite the fact that it's being parried and that can normally be punished, I mean, Goblin has just been tripped up like three, four times trying to jab out of parry. Gonna be finishing up that stop with side B, but now Epic Gabe putting on the pressure once again, but Goblin slowly starting to make the comeback in percent. Goblin does have the historical advantage on this Rob, winning 10 sets to 8 in comparison, but I mean, these are people who have fought so many different times. Perhaps Epic Gabriel has gotten the download, no pun intended, being the robot. Trying to get the down tilt here, fishing for it, it seems, but trying to get any sort of ranged option, especially when Rob has that down tilt, literally just sweeping him to the ledge, sitting at 123%, will get the back throw, but you need to get maximum damage here. Epic Gabriel getting back to the platform just a little too easily, Dara. Ooh, right now just dashing back and forth, dashing and shielding Epic Gabe. If he wants to punish that, he's going to have to punish oh. the dash grab, but catching the jump from Goblin, able to take that stock relatively early as well. Um, and now Goblin still chilling at 91%. So unless Goblin, you know, finds that jab, it's back here, perhaps. Um, just like a side B at the edge of the stage, it seems like he's going to be struggling to close out the stock a little bit. But side B, yeah, that's, that's the most reliable way to get it. Uh, Epic Gabe just has to be careful about how he lands with his neutral air dodge because not the first time he's been punished for that. Goblin will be looking to improve on their performance from last week. Super Galaxy Gambit X Collision, they finished 13th, going down to Jake and Peckham in that one. You'd think that they would want to lose to those dudes 50 times before they want one more loss against Epic Gabriel. That's just the kind of guy Goblin is, but just getting batted around by this robot and... Although the lead is minimal for Epic Gabriel, Goblin perhaps overextending just a little bit. And this is where Epic Gabriel really likes to dine is when you find yourself frustrated. That's when, that's where Rob has you. There's just so much pressure from both of these players right now. This could be the stop oh, and man. it is. Goblin, not the first time that they've been punished for these really, really unsafe up -bees out of pressure, out of disadvantage or perhaps when they're in the corner because Epic Gabe has just punished him like two, three times for it. And that time got the kill off of it. So Goblin just has to be a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more conservative with that up B usage because even though it covers Man. a lot of space, it's relatively quick out of shield. It can hit through a lot. Once somebody baits it out, they got a huge punish in front of them because that's a lot of lag, baby. Yeah, you're telling me. And that was just uh, perhaps the stylish option was not the safe one.